What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm too cool to I can geek. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to do a new segment in my channel right now. It's called Movie Catch Up. This is basically movies that were in the cinema, but I didn't have time to go watch them, but I've watched them now because Blu ray or the digital HD has come out. And I've been spending like the last couple of weeks just watching movie at the movie. And I thought, you know what? Let me just put them together and give my thoughts on these movies. I'm gonna do three movies at a time because I don't want to make this video too long. First I'm gonna start with Love, Simon. This was a beautiful endearing story about a kid coming out. I mean like everything in his life like he keeps on saying is perfect. He knows his parents would understand you know that he's coming out, he's gay, like they will still love him. His life is that good. But there's still, you know, factors in his head that are keeping him from doing it. Like people's homophobia, his dad's comments, his friends' reactions, you know. Like his life changing. Like he said, his life is considered perfect, even though he's hiding this big secret. And his life could change from this circumstance, this situation. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful story. Everybody's performance from Nick. I forgot the kid who plays Kid Flash's name. The girl who plays Hannah, Alexandra, and that dude from Spider Man Homecoming who's the soccer player, yeah. Like the relationships here are the standout points. I mean like Simon's relationship with Blue is something to be, you know, ecstatic about. Simon's relationship with his friends and I love how when the friends found out how he was manipulating to keep his secret they turned on him because people like to internalize things they don't care that it, they did it eventually when they forgave him they saw why he didn't come out when those guys were making fun of him and all that they understood why he didn't do it but it didn't stop them from hating him for keeping them apart and basically destroying one of them's fantasy. I'm not gonna give up too much away, but you know what I'm saying? So it was, was a fantastic movie. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. I legit give it an 8 out of 10. It's fantastic. Greg did something. I understand now why he got that that deal he got. You know that deal he got from Wonder Brother TV. I'm an Arrowverse fan though, so I understand. Next movie on the block is Game Night. This was a fantastic movie. It was structured like a game night. Give it up to the directors. I know they're taking on The Flash, which I'm going to talk about also. On that sh establishing shot they had when they had that one week later, or like, you know, that shot. I don't know how they did it, where it looked like, you know. Like it was set pieces, like it was a monopoly table, but it was real life, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looks so fantastic, you know what shot I'm talking about, I'll probably put a picture up to show you what kind of shot I was talking about. Had a lot of cameos that were fantastic from Arnold, from Westworld. The couples were exceptional, like Life Simon, character here, the characters here were the standout part of it, the story also was lovely and funny and amazing. Uh, the dude from Black Mirror from that Starship Enterprise episode, he was funny as the cop. Oh my god, he made me laugh so much. Like, so many characters are amazing. Like, this movie is it's just straight up amazing. Like, it just gets you. I also give it an 8 out of 10. Now, talking about the Flash moment. That dude, Michael. You know, I loved him as Dexter, and he was, he was so subtle in this movie. It made me see that he can actually be here about Thawne, man. Like, they should really make him reverse Flash. I hope somebody sees this and really thinks about it. I hope the directors already thought about it since they are taking in the Flash and they already do have a relationship with this guy. It's just something out there. Just think about it. It's just, like, why wouldn't they do it? It's just, ah. Uh, Third movie on the block is how to talk to girls at parties. This this movie should appreciate 
like, damn, this movie's such a mindfuck of a movie. I really love this movie. Yeah, I was confused most of it, but also intrigued. Like, I was on my edge of my seat, wanting to know what the hell's happening. And when I got to know what was happening, that there was some kind of celestial being, like, watching Earth, having a cycle. Like, they had a cycle of their own, and how they, they created babies. It's like, it's just a mindfuck of a movie. Like, the title alone shouldn't depend for this movie. Like, it is not about talking to girls at parties. It's just an experience of its own. I'm just imagining watching this movie on some kind of substance. Like, how crazy it would be. I legit gave this movie an 8 out of 5. I was blown away. This movie was crazy. LS performance, the dude's performance. Yo. Yo, Nicole kidding me though, so like everybody just came ready and they delivered. This was such a great movie. I am telling you, this is such a great movie. Like, expect the unexpectable, but appreciate what is given. <laughs> I think that's all I can say about this movie in, in retrospect without giving too much away. But, oh my god, this is an amazing movie. 8 out of 10. Definitely go watch it. Doses.